Hello everyone, welcome to Color Designs. The next tool for today is uh, Drop Shadow. Drop Shadow is used uh, to apply shadows on any kind of design or shape uh, or uh, maybe text. If you have text, any kind of word uh, here like uh, Del. So select the picture. I will make it bold and change the size, make it a little bigger. Then I will go to drop shadow, then click and drag on your text. If you want to make it uh, absolutely right on the line on the path, so press control, press and hold control, so the line will not move by its own and uh, you will have a perfect lining alignment with the text. I have uh, right here my drop shadow. As you can see, the, there is a, a little line on the middle this is to control your drop shadow. If you want it lighter, so you can drag it towards the white color. Or if you want it more dark, so you can drag it towards a dark color. The very simple to use it. And the, as you can see, the top options has been changed. The top, uh, you can see there's a color panel. You can change your shadow color by clicking any, selecting any color you want. If you want more color and you don't find it right here, you can go on more options. Then uh, you can uh, see there are a lot of options. You can change any color. You can select any color you want, make it uh, to your need and uh, press OK. Then you can select the color you want. If you go the option eyedropper, you can select any color from with the help of eyedropper. The color will be applied and directly to your shadow. If you don't need the shadow, you can press on this clear drop shadow option. Then the drop shadow will be finished. Or if you want, if uh, as you can see, the drop shadow has been connected uh, to your shape, but uh, you want to make it free or move it uh, to your will. It's not fully in under your control. So you will press control K, the shadow will be disconnected with your layer. And uh, you can now move your shadow and the text freely, separately, you want. This is the option of uh, using drop shadow. Hope you understand it. If you have any more questions about drop shadow, you can comment and uh, kindly ask them. I will be more than happy to answer your questions.